this evening over on UCI. Elated in the top lane, Mike Young, former LCS jungler in the jungle, Cinnamon Bread in the mid lane, and then Gorica and Light Pulse in the bottom lane. You already mentioned Gorica, a really big carry player, but I want to talk a little bit about Cinnamon Bread in the mid lane. And this OQ, he had he was carrying some games. This is about as good as I've seen Cinnamon Bread play uh, since I started casting in the scene. I'm going to be honest, UCI has looked as good as I've seen them for mm -hmm. a very long time, Agreed. right? Uh, they did make top 32 C-Law last, last year. They got bounced out by Ottawa in the MEC, surprisingly, but that team had Trickster and had a lot of other people in there. Trickster now on Winthrop, so you can see the kind of competition that UCI Varsity was going up against. But yeah, they've probably looked the best they've looked in a very long time. And it's surprising because typically when you keep a roster for so long together, a lot of people will count them as like known quantities. Oh, this is their ceiling. This is their floor. But somehow they've managed to elevate their ceiling just a little bit. Yeah, and the really interesting thing about that, uh, now that you mention it, was I did catch up with Sneezes, the coach for Oklahoma Christian the other day, and he actually uh, really admires uh, UCI's continuity and uh, hopes to keep that sort of thing up with Oklahoma Christian as we're going to see Oklahoma Christian's starting line up now. And uh, we got Gorilla Jones up in the top lane, Trinkets <clears throat> in the jungle, Emps in the mid lane, Josu and Paralysis in the bottom lane. And this is a team that... Their solo laners, they're so volatile sometimes, right? We've seen a lot of Gorilla Jones, and we know he can have high highs, but pretty low lows. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if there's anything to say about Gorilla Jones, the man is a grinder. There's Rift yawning. We have made it should be Summoner's Rift for game one of this best of three series. UCI on the blue side, Oklahoma Christian there on the red side. Shibby. How do you think Smolder Karma is going to go? I haven't seen that pairing yet, but it sounds incredibly powerful. Everybody talked about how uh, great Smolder's Achu has been, right? It does so much damage, big slow. You pair that up with a Karma Mantra Q. Like, this sounds like you are dealing tons uh -oh. of damage. Hold that thought. Because UCI is about to walk into a bear trap. Double knock up. Ignite down onto Mike Young. Mike Young has to flash away, but they're in hot pursuit. Ghost has been burned by a Josu. And it oh. looks like Mike Young is dead. First blood going over to Oklahoma Christian. I'm forced to flash over the wall, but I'm sure Oklahoma Christian is happy. Yeah, Mike Young goes down. No flash for the Monkey King as well here. Really, really crucial for some of his early ganks, especially when you back and you get that sheen. Yanni, you've talked to, you've heard me talk about it time and time again here. Wukong with Sheen is another champion entirely. Also, the interesting thing to note is that Mike Young started W. The man's going to need a hard leash. You don't really have that much clear potential when you start W. Typically, you go E or you start Q, and then you point into one of the others. W, you take last. So I feel bad for him. This UCI laded, he's got to help leash his top laner pretty heavily. And that means Cassante is going to have a nice first stop at the wave. And not only that, Cinnamon Bird had to move over to make sure that there wasn't an invade coming through, and is Zach not known for being a great uh, a great champion to help leash, right? So, <laughs> certainly going to slow down Mike Young. So, uh, Oklahoma Christian, if there is any way that you wanted to start a game against an opponent that did best you just about a week or two ago, I mean, this is it. Yeah, and I want to talk back to that point that you mentioned earlier, right? How does this smolder karma lane really go? Well, typically what you'll see is this karmas will get paired up with like really strong, aggressive poke lanes. Think Caitlyn, think uh, Ezreal, that kind of stuff. Technically, Smolder functions that same way if you are going that W Max version, which is what looks oh. like it's happening. Even though Gorica did go with the fleeted footwork, he looks like he's using the Achu, using the W here. So it gives you a lot more lane pressure and doesn't just allow you to get pushed in. But Varus Rakan, no slouch, right? Varus, one of the best laners right now as an AD carry. And it's just really fundamentally solid all around, right? He's got Halo Blades. He could probably opt into what is going to be most likely poke Varus here. So that's going to be nice. A lot of squishy targets. It's really hard to play against a Varus lane, especially when you have Rakan ready for the engage at level six. Yeah, but them getting pushed in does mean that Gorka and Light Pulse have first move as Mike Young is going to get engaged on oh, by yep. Trinket. And this could be problematic. Stands there for a second, tries to fake him out, forces the flash oh. out of Trinket. But I believe that is up. Oh, he oh, come on. turned away. And he's going to let him get away. Trinket, come on. 
Ooh, not dotting your I's or crossing your T's. That is just sloppy jungle gameplay right there, right? If you don't let him go, if you follow him with the with the Q, if you don't think you have that last tick for the kill, right? You gotta you gotta make sure because that would have been just ruining Mike Young's day, right? You already killed him once. He had to start W. You take his red right but then you also take his life you get a little bit more gold injected into your pockets that would have put him so far behind and would have stopped some of that early wukong pressure which is where he can kind of get the best of nocturne nocturnes love to farm to level six they want to invade you potentially for your camps they're not the best gankers just because they don't have a lot of cc they have to get around you and at this level people are properly warding there's an ignite down on the light pulse this is gonna be uh -oh. a lot of damage but the heals and the shields will keep them up right now the turn on to paralysis Forced to flash away as Gorica is very healthy right now. Meanwhile, Cinema oh. coming down on the roam has a bead on him. Is going to stun up Paralysis and Light Pulse is going to be able to pick that one up. But Trinket is going to go get the fear on a lot of to Cinema Red. Cinema Red forced to flash away. But Ajosu is going to have to try to clean this up somehow because Trinket goes down. Ajosu is out of mana. But picks one more? Up one, picks up two. I guess they'll call it worth, but Gorica will pick up the last one. Overall, two for three UCI, right? Three people uh, on OC ended up, or sorry, two people ended up OC ended up dying there. Um, yeah, that was just rough for uh, UCI there a little bit. Mike Young died mid, apparently, trying to cover. So that's another thing as well. So overall, not bad for OC. They actually end up trading pretty evenly. Uh, but a lot of that kill gold going over to the Varus, a Josu three and one right now. Some of that kill gold being shared by Smolder and Twisted Fate here. I'm not a believer because there's not really much magic damage coming out of UC Irvine. This is AD Twisted Fate right now. You do see a roam from Paralysis. It's a perfect roam. Forces the flash out of Elated. They're going to knock him up as well. But does Gorilla Jones have the mana? Meanwhile, on the other side, it's Trinket getting rooted Trinket. up. Mike Young and Light Pulse have to find a way out. But they make sure Elated stays upright. Yeah, he's fine. They weren't really trying to squish the blobs a little too much. And yeah, Zach. Super tough champion to kill. I don't even think his passive is off yet. So even if they were able to confirm the health bar going all the way down to zero, he probably would have been completely fine nonetheless. Good peel away. But like you said, good roam from paralysis, right? Just using that, that easy, simple roam timer, right? Oh, you're back in base. Let me start walking towards mid. Let me start walking towards top. If there's a play to happen, I'm going to go to it. I love when supports do it. I know it's a little bit automatic and sometimes telegraph. But I feel like a lot of teams right now are just super sloppy since it's so early in the season. They're not thinking about it. Gorilla Jones, though. Yeah, Gorilla Jones taking advantage of teleporting back, but Elated is going to be able to escape once again, saves his teleport. However, this does mean it's going to be the Grubs over to the side of Oklahoma Christian. Meanwhile, there was a death in the mid lane. Cinnamon Bread goes down again. One and two. Light Pulse and Mike Young can't respond. Yeah, it looks like Emps just like raw command shockwaved him, right? Hit him with every single ability, and that's more than enough to take down this TF. As you said, the Void Grub's going over in the favor of uh, OC here. That's nice, right? That's the reason Gorilla Jones pretty much used the Cassante ultimate to make sure that he would have full lane priority just in case Mike Young is somehow around those Grubs. He can't just invade for free here. Is now, you see some trading coming back in the bot lane. Ooh, an ultimate miss from a Josu means no kill onto Light Pulse or Gorica here. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, he's one eye looking one way, one eye looking the other way. Closed <laughs> his left eye instead of his right eye, and that means it just went a little wide, but I like the aggressiveness here as Oklahoma Christian very much recognizing that they are the aggressors. They are the ones getting the job done. I've been really impressed with their play early, and so that's why they're up a 1,000 gold. It's not a whole lot, but listen, you know, this is a team that, again, we talk about this, beat you just two weeks ago. So being ahead at this point, pretty happy with it. Yeah, a nice little 1,000 gold lead for OC after it's, all, after it's all settled and done, roughly at the seven and a half minute mark here. And the right people have the gold, right? Your Orianna, your Varus, the two carry thrusts that I mentioned is Gorilla Jones uh, is oh. just going to get typical Zach trading pattern. And unfortunately, can't really do much about it. He just jumps on you and you just have to take a bunch of damage as he's just going to heal back up here. But Gorilla Jones doing a fantastic job in the top lane. Uh, is now Dragon also going to go over to OC because of that bot lane pressure, because of them being so strong. Typically what happens is whatever team gets the, gr the grubs, the other team will trade the Dragon with it. But in this case, because your mid lane is winning, because your bottom lane is winning, you can go for grubs and Dragon and not get punished at all. 
Yeah, never mind the fact that Mike Young is behind. Meanwhile, Paralysis trying to chase down Cinnamon Bread, but Mike Young is now level six. We need to turn, but Oklahoma Christian realize it, decide, well, let's not go too far. And the magic number has been ticked here. Yosu takes a Yosu bunch of damage trouble. right now. Ooh. Mom just whiffing, but the turn, not Ooh. quite there, but Trinket goes very, very deep for this one. They are going to get the fear nice onto flash. the Karma, take him out. No chains of corruption needed. Yeah, but that was a beautiful flash coming out from Trinket there, right? Makes it so that even if he gets rooted, Karma gets feared the other way towards Ajosu, guarantees the kill here, as Paralysis might want to fancy a dive. No ultimate on the Smolder here. Yeah, Smolder nice though, use of, the, e is, yeah. the E is crazy, by the way. I think that ability is really, really busted. You get to go over walls, you, you get to just go around everything. Have you seen it where you can avoid dives by going flapping towards the towards the outside of the map? You actually get out of the Summoner's Rift and you can oh, avoid dives came. for about one. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. He pretty much is Kane for I like one that. and a half seconds. Yeah, it's a really cool mechanic. Hopefully, maybe we'll see Smolders use it in the future. But what I wanted to talk about that magic number being ticked was that Nocturne hitting level six. The first two ganks are some of the most important ultimates in the game, right? It sets the tone. Typically, Nocturnes will only get two to three ultimates within laning phase, right? Depending if they have ultimate hunter, depending on how many kills they got, two to three is that is it. And then you have to start ulting for these team fights, which becomes a lot harder. So those ultimates, two out of three have to land in kills, objectives, something. It cannot just be blown flashes. You have to get something out of it. And really good job from Trinket recognizing that bot lane is flashless and just letting it rip down there. Yup, that's what you have to do to stay ahead in this one because if you take a look at UCI's composition, I feel like their fighting could be really strong. Later, Mike Young could cause a lot of problems if Gorica gets really strong. We all know that Smolder's got his breakpoints on his Q, and Gorica has been stacking that up uh, pretty nicely. I saw him down there uh, group up four minions, make sure he gets uh, four takedowns on it, right? So. So you guys gonna get really, really strong later. You land a mom in a grouped area, oh, it's gonna be bad news. Yeah, and pro players have been optimizing the stacks, right? We've seen some guys get 225 stacks before 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good, right? That's before the third dragon. Right now, it's 80 stacks at the 10 minute mark. So he's, if he's on pace or if he's going the pace right now, he'll hit around 180, 190, depending on the 20 minutes. But depends on how many lanes and farm he farms up, right? Raptors, jungle cams, bot lane, mid lane. He could amplify that really, really quickly, as we are going to see potential scrap for oh, the second round of grubs. There's an all yeah, out of the UC top. Yeah, UC Irvine wants to deny too. Yeah, there's crazy things happening. They're trying to keep down Gorilla Jones. He gets a double knock up there. Going to go engage onto the Twisted Fate. Take Ooh. him out. Great ultimate from Trinket. Doesn't mean that the grubs were exposed. However, one claimed by the side of UC. That's it. Mid lane right now getting sieged. Like, it's just three members of OC. Do they want to go for this? I would play they for the five wave. and six stack grubs. Why not? You've had man advantage, you have shockwave, you've got everything. There's mom, but paralysis is lurking around, trying to maybe get a good shockwave combo off. That's Woo! a five man shockwave into a five man knockup. Oklahoma Christian, the synergy is disgusting. They're going to go and clean up the Zach now. It's a double kill. Cinnamon bread is super low. Cinnamon bread is super dead. Borica gets charmed up. They're going to take him out too. It's a quarter kill for a Josu. Oklahoma Christian want the beans, the rice, the chicken, the grubs. They want UC Irvine's lives right now. A massive team fight win for them. They pick up a whole ton of gold. A Josu 7 and 1. You look at Emps right now, 3 0 4. That was the game losing fight potentially for UC Irvine. And that's going to allow them to net the grubs, which is going to get the five stack on the grubs for themselves. They're going to have a lot of pushing power. They've reset. They're going to set up for that dragon pretty soon. They are sitting on a mountain of gold. They are 4,000 nearly in the lead off of just one grub fight. Bro, I feel like I watched, just watch an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Oklahoma <laughs> Christian sent UCI to the Shadow Realm. That was insane. That is that. Oh man, I want to watch that play again so badly. That's gonna be the first thing I do when this series is done, man. That was so dang clean. I just don't really have proper words to describe it. Drag it up in ten seconds should be. If, if UCI doesn't want to give it, we might see Oklahoma Christian do something similar again. Yeah, I think they have to give it now. That was a. Just a such a swing in gold for Oklahoma Christian, right? And it felt like UCI just 
were not aware where the ball is, and now Cinnamon Bread, uh oh. Yeah, he's gonna burn Ghost. His paralysis and a Josu are chasing him down. I'm sorry, that's a Josu that popped the Ghost, and they're going to pop that twisted fate. One, six, and two, 69 CS. The Cinnamon Bread has gone moldy, Shibby. So we see Elated and Gorilla Jones go at it, but we all know that nobody's gonna die there. Yeah, I have just not been the biggest fan of Twisted Fate, at least in the mid lane, right? I know a lot of top laners have been having a lot of success as the, as the success as the Dragon goes down for OC here. So they're on Dragon stacking. They've got Grub stacking. The Rift Turtle is going to be up in 15 minutes. I'm damn well sure they're going to go for that here because they feel so strong. And yeah, I'm just not convinced with the ADTF. It's better in the top lane. More wave clear, a little bit more safety. It's very uninteractive, but in the mid lane, you don't return any damage back. It takes a long time for you to actually get your E card stacks going. And especially into something like the Orianna, I feel like she just like can outrange you, outwave clear you, and you're kind of done. Yeah, it is bad news. Speaking of bad news, Gorilla Jones- This guy's just 1v2ing, hey, by the way. Yeah, he's just so healthy. They're not going to kill him. I thought it was going to be bad news, but there's there no news was good news there, I suppose, if you were Gorilla Jones. He was just farming away, having a great time. Yeah, he's chill. Zero, zero, and three on the Cassante, working towards that frozen fist. and. Although Zach technically has an item lead right now, just a little bit, it's because Sunfire is the only item he's been going for, right? Gorilla Jones has been picking up different components here and there waiting. He's also got Merc Treads, he's got another Ruby Crystal, and just look at that damage coming out from Emps here, right? It's he disgusting. went for the Ludens instead of usually what we see is like maybe Storm Surge or I've seen Lignans on some of the um, Orianas. I actually prefer Ludens. Gives you a lot of burst, especially when you're fully stacked. That Shockwave can just tear through teams as we saw UCI. What happened to them? Oh, yeah. And listen, you know, I, I listen, I'm not going to put on my color hat here for a second. This is a Ludens matchup if I've ever seen it because you know, Oriana and Twisted Fate, you got to do what you can to get ahead in lane, have more damage, try to be more impactful than fights than the Twisted Fate is when it comes to split pushing, right? Making plays around the map. And, you know, this AD Twisted Fate, right? Uh, they have to kind of get in close, make sure they're auto attacking constantly, which means they're close to be traded on, right? And we've seen that Ems has just been going to town, right? Roll swapped back to mid from jungle uh, and has, hasn't really missed a beat, has been playing really well. Meanwhile, they're gonna try this again on Gorilla Jones. I don't know, they're, oh, they're gonna pull him in this time around. He is going to get knocked back, knocked away from his turret. The all-out pulls elated under the turret. Gorilla Jones wow. able to dash out. And surprisingly, the first turret goes down. But unsurprisingly, Cinnamon Bread is going to go down. Just another play. Pack of Hungry Wolves known as Oklahoma Christian. I will say this. Oklahoma Christian on a bit of a timer, right? Because we've seen what Smolder can do, right? NACLs, right? Uh, LCS, right? We've seen what this champion can do, even in some of the worst situations, right? Unsalvageable gold leads. Somehow this champion just hits 225, and he is just a completely different nightmare for the enemy team to deal with here, especially with Infernal Dragon. I I feel like OC has to kind of keep putting the pedal to the metal. I'm not saying they don't scale well by any means, right? They've got Cassante, they got Orianna, but it's hard to beat. A fully stacked smolder, right? And he just gets stronger and stronger. Every every 40, I believe, stacks, is it? He or 60? He just gets another percentage of that mm -hmm. execute tacked yeah. on to his Q or his passive, technically. It's yeah. going to be rough. He's going to tear through players like Gorilla Jones. He's going to tear through your team. So they've got to start ending quickly. He's at 155 at the 16-minute mark. 100 more stacks, and he's going to get to that 225 mark pretty soon. They pull the trigger on a Josu who gets knocked airborne, but is shielded. Jesus. Mom gonna fly in, do a little bit of damage, but it's just not at that point in this point of the game. Mike Young, big knock up on the side, gets charmed up. They're trying to protect the Zac. Morales gets caught in there and does not come out. Another huge Ooh. shockwave coming out from Emps, but no oh, kills shielded yet. But here comes Gorilla Jones as he's trying to get in to do something. Flying in, and he's trinket, but he goes down on the side of the fight, Gorilla Jones. Gets a kill for himself and ends up being a two for one in the favor of UCI. And finally, they survive a fight and punch back. Yeah, good little pick there. Recognizing that Gorilla Jones probably didn't have TP. was walking towards that mid lane or walking through mid lane here. Uh, just a little bit of gold here. But I feel like if I'm Gorica, I just tell my team, don't fight. Let me get to 225. Let's give this dragon up. 
I feel like going for these risky plays might just send them into a game state where they can't come back from, right? OC will just accelerate the game pace, go for Baron at the 20-minute mark, and then just win the game here. Start feeding double lanes into the AD carry, right? Give him mid, give him bot, or give him top. Let him farm the camps. Yeah, this is exactly what he should be doing here. Gorica is UCI's one saving grace, in my opinion. Yeah, it's the Gorica game, right? And you saw that when they were sacking midwaves earlier for Cinnamon Bread, right? And make, you know, he was still down at what, like 60 CS. They said, "Hey, Gorica, this is this is your game," but he's just not doing that great in the CS department comparatively, right? Getting fed a couple of waves, you know, and jungle camps, you're just not quite where you need to be. There's just not enough resources on the map for them to take in the short time that they have. This dragon is up and trinket down near the bottom side is the rest of Oklahoma Christian. They're looking to put themselves on the sole point. Yeah, really early one as well. We'll probably get like a 24 minute infernal soul here. And unfortunately, UCI have to make the tough decision, right? Do they try to fight for the infernal infernal soul? Or do they rely on the smolder scaling and say, you know what, we can beat Infernal Soul. Let's get another five minutes of him farming. That's going to be the golden question. And I think most teams are going to trend towards trying to contest that dragon. Especially, he is at 188. It's not impossible. He's at 194 right? now. 194. Yeah, he's farming pretty well. He needs maybe a couple more waves, maybe a jungle camp or two after that. And he's at 225. He's at that point in the game where he starts to execute you. And it's only going to get worse. Five minutes is a damn long time, Yanni. Yeah, and you know what? It's just a free collector, right? And you'll gladly take that, especially when you saw a lot of low health bars. Right? Low health bars with a small, you know, dragon. It's it's a big problem. Yeah, it's it's a hundred percent a really big problem here, and I want to see how. Oklahoma plan on trying to accelerate this game out. Maybe they're okay with letting Smolder get to 295 stacks. Maybe they have just enough damage. Maybe they're more confident. I mean, if Emps hits another five-man shockwave, I don't care how many stacks you have on Smolder, you are going down immediately as the Rift Herald is getting charged into the mid lane. You guys got to back up. That's not your mid lane anymore. Twitch chat coming through. Meanwhile, the light's going to get turned off here. I Trinket, is they're going to go on to Twisted Fate? Once again, Cinnamon Bread just out in... I don't know, man. He is, no man's he's, land. Yeah, he's play. He's on um, I don't know, man. Where where do they have the game of Valorant map or something like that? Big knockup <laughs> come through. So is Ma and Morales. Any big charms? Another two man shockwave. Oh and the my. burst damage is just too strong. But Mike Young trying to do what he can. Does manage to trade a kill back and will be able to slide his way out. Another two for two. But Oklahoma Christian get the prize. They get that mid in turn. Yeah, they won't be able to push this down much longer. They're going to get that mid tier two. They might try to set up a little bit of vision, whatever trinket wards or the control wards that they may have in their inventories. But the best thing to do here is just to reset, cash out that gold, and start pressuring Baron, right? You are so far ahead. 5,000 gold. If you press tab OC, you'll realize how far ahead you are. And you don't want to use the Baron necessarily just to try to end it. You want to bait a fight. You want to clump UCI together so that Emps and AJOs who can just go to work, right? That's what you want to use Baron as, a team fighting tool. You don't want to get wiped out by Gorik, or you don't want to give him four or five kills while your armor and Amar is being shredded by the Baron here. You want to force UCI to check into this fog, check into this vision as LP has just dropped a couple wards down, and then you take the fight. You cut the lights out with the Nocturne, you run the Nocturne Oriana combo, and you kill Gorika, right? That is your goal in these fights. He's at 220, he's gonna hit 225 here. He's He's just going to hit those stacks here. And so now the game is, can UCI keep Smolder safe? Or can OC leap on this dragon and make him go down six feet under? Yeah, all they need to do is put together the Trinket plus Emps combination. The Emps and Emps' cuddle buddy, you might call it combo, right? Throw the ball onto the Nocturne, get them onto the Smolder, pop that ultimate. Should be able to get a kill with a long range Q from Ajosu on top of it. It does require quite a bit of synergy, right? But we saw the synergy earlier. Yeah, we really did. We, I mean, we've seen Emps hit some really, really good ultimates. I don't think he's whiffed necessarily any, right? Even the two-man ones, he's hitting priority targets, which is much more important than getting like a four-man potentially or a three-man. If Smolder's caught in it, you've pretty much won the fight because he's either half healthing you or getting you down to roughly 75% of your health taken away here. And by that time, Gorica can't enter any of these fights here. Oklahoma Christian though, timer is up. Let's see how they navigate these team fights with Smolder at the execute stacks. 
Another minute left. So UCI just needs to hang on and make sure they do not give up this dragon by any means necessary. Gorilla Jones on a big flank, but they do spot him out. They're going to try to get everybody on top of him. He has gone unstoppable. Twisted Fate Ultimate coming out here. Where are we going to see it at? I think it's just going to be... We're going to be giving vision here. We realize that everybody is where they should be. UCI not surprised any longer. Yeah, and... Oklahoma not really setting up Baron, right? Like, I would back base, get a bunch of control wards here, play the trading game, right? Like, if you want, give UCI that dragon, go for Baron and just go for the end, right? Because that's really going to help well. you. Unfortunately, you're not going to siege without Baron here, especially in the TF, Karma, and Smolder here. You need Baron's resistances. You need the empowered minions for you to actually crack open this base, in my opinion. Gorilla Jones getting chased down, but it just doesn't look like he cares, right? He takes a little bit of damage, but the rest of UCI very oh. much cares as they're going to try to get on top of him. They're going to stun him up, and they're going to mob him with multiple we'll members. They're sending everybody, and Gorilla Jones has no assistance. He will burn away. He just has to get taken down here. Zach is going to fly through. Gorilla Jones is going to try to sidestep, get his shield. Uh, Gorilla Jones no. might be out of here. Meanwhile, Mom is going to get thrown down. No! The dragon, and the dragon has been secured. The soul secured. Mike Young going to go pretty deep here. Taking out about half HP, but the lights have been turned out. Trinket looking for a target. Goes back in onto Mike Young. Mike Young very low, but here comes the potential execute. Cinnamon Bread is low, but Gorka is safe. Emps is low. About to get executed. Teleport coming in from the side as Gorilla Jones is getting ready to rejoin the fight. Elated gets popped into multiple blobs, but now off to the side. Mike Young gets blown up, and the rest of Oklahoma Christian, they're still alive right now. Big knock Backup's coming through. Paralysis Watch is low. Gorka. Gorilla Jones is still upright. Double kill for a Josu as Gorka is looking for more. He sees the executor. Oh, his no. eyes, he gets knocked up. He's forced to flash. He's got to try to get the executor onto somebody. They're both very, very low. The extra burn is not quite enough. Paralysis is still upright. Gorka getting a bit of a shield to try to get in there. They really, really want this. Light Pulse is full HP, but oh. Gorka gets bursted within an inch of his life and has to back off right on death's door there one more long sword in josu's inventory and goruk is dead right like that was a dangerously close fight although we have to realize that gorilla jones didn't really participate right didn't have the ultimate was getting chased down by five members a straight up 5v5 even now with infernal soul i'm pretty sure oklahoma, oklahoma christian win that with ease right Gorka is strong, he is scary, but it's taking him a little bit of time to get these executes off, especially because he went the more AD focus build instead of the Shojin, Leandries, and stuff. As oh my lord, Light Pulse flashes immediately away from that Nocturne ultimate. Trinket has been snappy on these ultimates, and you have to go uh -huh. get the flash immediately, right? That uh, that dragon burst coming out from the Infernal Soul does. A heck of a lot of damage. It does more damage than uh, what Gorka's putting out right now. One team is better dragons than him. Although we did see Gorka in that last fight was very close to turning it around. Excited to see if UCI is able to try to find a way, but he gets bursted oh. out once again. Ajosu just... God, he hits like a truck from a mile away. Yeah, it's really disgusting. And I'm glad he's hitting the right targets, right? He's focusing on hitting these piercing arrows onto Smolder. But let's choke out the vision. Let's pop the control wards, right? We can see just based off of how much vision is being scattered around that Oklahoma Christian can start this Baron with impunity. Wait out the TF ultimate and start it. Use it as a team fight bait tool. Kill UCI and either get the Baron or end the game. You cannot just keep bouncing waves back and forth if you are Oklahoma Christian here. You've got to be decisive and you've got to say, do we go for Baron or do we start pushing lanes? Do we go for an engage? Doing this is just giving UC Irvine more time to scale. Yeah, and they have the ability to just hit the go button on an engage right now. You can see Emps and Trinket hiding off to the side. So is Mike Young ready for a counter engage. Meanwhile, Paralysis trying to maybe get a cheeky flank off here. Cinnamon Bread going to recall. He does have teleport okay. available. Meanwhile, Elated. Even Elated takes quite a bit of damage from just a couple of Varus arrows, but... UCI, they have the inside track on this midwave if they want it, but Oklahoma Christian is going to move to the Baron and start it up. Finally, they've been decisive. They're starting the Baron. They've had vision control this whole time here. Look at all these control wards scattered around everywhere. They've got a ton of damage. They're going to take this Baron down very, very quickly. Their waves are pretty good state right now. Top and bot are pushing towards UC Irvine, so they can take the reset, send Gorilla Jones either top or bottom, and start pushing through this mid lane here and go for a 4-1 split. Finally, OC have been decisive and take this Baron here. 
if UCI can hang on, they might be okay with that, right? It's two minutes until Elder, right? And, you know, when you get down to Elder, doesn't matter if somebody's got soul or not, it just becomes a complete coin flip. And if the flip goes heads for you, you can certainly go and win a fight. So UCI trying to sneak in, but they've been spotted on vision, not able to beat Oklahoma Christian to the punch. Yeah, and Gorica just stacking a little bit more now at 307, so he's tacked on another percent onto his execute. If this keeps going, right, he'll eventually get to a pretty crazy amount here. Elder is where this possible last fight is going to happen. You see Baron Minions pushing down into the bottom lane and mid lane here. They've got a Siege, though. They've got the Orianna Ball. They've got the Varus. Start placing it aggressively and start hitting this turret. Yeah, and the wave clear is fine on the side of UCI. Um, you know, you've got obviously empowered Karma Q, right? But, you know, Cinnamon Bread isn't really able to do anything to these minions despite him being 8 ETF, right? Uh, so Gorilla Jones is able to just walk the wave in and they're able to play on multiple waves. Yep. This turret will go down after this Demolish proc goes off. And now the bottom inhibitor, meanwhile, in the mid lane, uh -oh. going in very, very deep. They're going to pull him in for Paralysis. They're going to try to follow up here. Comes what an ultimate. Tricking off to the side. Paralysis is super low, but M's from behind. Ems. M's with a shockwave that I believe only hit one there. Meanwhile, elated very low. We'll finally go down. Gorka onto the backside. Got caught out by Gorilla Jones. They take him down. It's a three for one in favor of Oklahoma Christian. Chibi, they may be able to end this game. Oh, yeah. Majority of the wave clear is down here. Karma is not going to be enough. And I thought it was almost a bad play from Gorilla Jones because Ems would have caught Gorka with that uh, ultimate, the command shockwave, if Gorilla Jones didn't all out him, but it's fine. You know, Cassante gets the kill. He's able to take on the hyperscale smolder here. And yeah, game should be over no. potentially. No, actually, they're able to hold it. Karma Q going malignance, you know, this is, full AP is just is allowed to stall it out. This is bad for Oklahoma Christian because look at their health bars. They're very, very low. Good news is M says teleport, but they're missing some critical summoners for this Elder Drake fight, Shibby. Yeah, key thing to note though, Gorica missing flash, missing ghost. So he's got to be really careful on his positioning. Doesn't really have any summoner spells to play with. Very low mobility. Pretty much has the E and that's it. And you've got to use that to either get over a wall or reposition because Emps has been heat seeking with these command shockwaves. And now we see the tango for this Elder Dragon vision. I don't think we should be starting it though for UCI. Yeah, that's kind of crazy here. Paralysis on the back side as the Elder down to about a thousand. So Oklahoma Christian just biding their time. Meanwhile on the side, Gorilla Jones is going to try to cause a problem. Turning out the lights are going to engage on Nagorica and take him down. And this is bad news for UCI. Mike Young on the back line trying to do what he can, but he goes down. And the Elder Dragon secured for the side nice. of Oklahoma Christian. They're going to split Zach in half with some cell division. And they're going to walk it down the mid lane to end this game. I just talked about how important it was for Gorica to position correctly. He doesn't have any summoner spells. He needs to use the E to get over the wall. And he just gets Nocturne ulted and Oriana ulted at the same time. He's in the pit with the tank while the rest of UCI is on the other side of Dragon. I'm just genuinely confused at that last fight. Why are we starting? Well, there's a Xin Zhao on one team and there's a Rel on the other team. And they got long enough pole arms to be able to joust. As the joust begins, we are on Summoner's Rift. Oklahoma Christian are on the blue side for this game. UCI on the red side. And Shibby, I must say, if I'm going to put on my collar hat for a second, I'd recommend UCI not have any deaths at level one. Yeah. Uh, don't randomly walk in on an invade, maybe. Uh, get some vision down, sure, but make sure to place it defensively. Uh, other than that, yeah, if Mike Young doesn't like lose his flash early, doesn't go down early, right? He'll be able to do quite a bit of damage here i will see the zinzao try to invade this poppy so i'm interested to in see how trinket adapts their pathing whether they go for like a blue gromp red or they go for like a red clear they're trying to clear opposite of the zinzao so that he can't just walk up and try to kill you in your own jungle here um interesting thing to note we've got the smolder in the mid lane and they're most likely trending towards a very different build than we saw in game one that Gorica built, right? Gorica went the Essence Reaver into Navori's. It's the more like 80 carry DPS focus build, right? Or consistent DPS, quote unquote. I'm pretty sure Cinnamon Bread is going to go for that like Shoujin, Riftmaker, Leandri's build where you max the W, you have insane wave clear, you still get really good stacks, 
but it's a bit of a different flavor of Smolder. And I actually prefer that build over the Essence Reaver Navori. Just feels like it does more. You know, I do too. And I just, I agree with you, right? I don't, you just deal more damage and you just <laughs> feel more relevant. You know, as you said, you couldn't have hit the nail on the head any harder. Junglers shifting toward their bottom side. They're just going to take care, clear from the bottom, clear all the way up to the top, and then see what's going to happen from there. We saw a lane last time around go toward a Josu and Paralysis. And this time around, it should be a little bit different. Varus Rel is not the greatest combo. Yeah, this Maokai kind of negates everything that Rel wants to do, as we see elated burning Gorilla Jones alive right now. Aatrox, one of the few champions that can actually just kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rumble. Mm -hmm. I've always thought of Rumble as a Z-tier champion. I still think he is. He's one of the most busted top laners. Elated also has Ignite. So if Gorilla Jones gets a little too feisty, right, then he can just kind of turn on with the Afterburners and go for it, which is might. Yeah, there goes happen. the fight. Actually but elated. Oh, Ignites and flashes. He's going to have the taser, and he Ooh. tasers him down straight in the back. First blood for Elated. You called it. Taser, taser, taser. Elated takes him down, and yeah. I said one of the few champions that can go to toe, toe to toe. Doesn't mean he doesn't mean he wins them all the time, right? If Elated hits those empowered E's, right? If he's in that hot zone, he starts hurting you down. He starts slowing you. Yeah, you're gonna get burned to a crisp, especially because he has Ignite there. Gorilla Jones not gonna miss too much as he did TP back to that wave. But yeah, I wanted to go back to that Maokai point. Negates kind of what Oklahoma Christian wants to do, right? It's a very good disengaged champion for uh, the side of UC Irvine. And the cool thing about Maokai is that he can both function as an engage or disengage champion, depending on the composition. The moment Rel tries to go in, you throw the R down, and you essentially, what I like to say is reset to neutral, if I were to take a fighting game term, right? Everybody goes back and you start jousting for positioning again. That's a really strong tool in League of Legends. Resetting neutral, especially with OC against OC's team composition, can be very powerful. Just saw Trinket smite away a scuttle crab, and Mike Young realized, well, I'll live to fight another day. As the junglers <laughs> head back to the bot side, and we see a Josu in paralysis still continuing to push in, but the poke uh, comes through on the side of UCI a little bit more here, but paralysis looking for an engagement. They force the heal out of Gorica. So, pretty good stuff so far as the team's going back and forth. Paralysis is getting low. They're getting a little feisty down it's here. A kill Shane. angle. It really is. Yeah, like. Light Pulse might be able to flash W onto Paralysis here. There's enough damage potentially from Gorica and them to take him down, but I think Paralysis is chugging on their final potion here. Emps and Cinnamon Bread vying for this wave control right now. Emps winning it just by a little bit, but Mike Young is around the corner. Yeah, we're going to see Flash Twisted Advance from Maokai here if he can get an angle, but no, it's just way too obvious. He's just like hugging the wall, going back and forth, and Ajosu and Paralysis despite being in what would be a gankable quote-unquote situation, they're completely fine. Yeah, and that is a pretty big missed opportunity there. Not sure what gave it away, or they just had the sixth sense. Their their spidey senses were tingling, uh -oh. but you can already see them on the minimap heading back down. Trinket. Mike Young is trying to go through lane Trinket in the area as well, but we do spot him out, they ping him out. Oh, are we getting recalls or what? <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. They're, they're, they're like baiting recalls. I think Emps is here, or Trinket is here, sorry, just to cover this. And I think if Oklahoma oh, Christian is, they do get the recall. Play. They take perfect advantage. Oh, that is so huge. And Light Pulse is going to flash forward, which means he's on the wrong side of the wall. Is taken down by all the members of Oklahoma Christian. A chef's kiss of a dive there. The moment Mike Young is back in Fountain, Emps pulls the trigger they wanted mike young to recall so they could get that four man dive and that's that first to ultimate that's that four man potential that we saw in that bot side let's see if they can answer on to gorilla jones here he does not have the ultimate he's at level six fast if they kill him here it could end his game but he managed to get most of the wave mike young is here oh. the world ender is popped so gorilla jones popping it preemptively and cinnamon bread and mike young realize there's nothing we can do up here oh yeah you don't dive and ulting Aatrox, he will make you pay. They are going to be able to get 
some priority onto these grubs. Light Pulse has also roamed up. We will potentially see a 4v4 here. No, no World Aatrox Ender. World Ender. Yeah, UCI, they've got to back out. They don't have the gusto. There's a big engage. Two man knockoff, but they roll out the red carpet to deal a lot of damage. That Rumble is burning away. Uh -oh. Multiple members. Mom comes flying through, and the health bars get flipped. Gorilla Jones is dead, and Emps is getting chased down, tasered down, and burned away. Elated picks up kill number two. And UCI heads back to the Groves. Ooh, that combo that you mentioned, right? The Szechuan Cajun combo coming out from UCI. The fire on fire just absolutely tore through Oklahoma Christian. That was insane. They kited it back, waited for Oklahoma Christian to group up, and they just dropped everything on them. Very, very well played from UCI here. They get the grubs, they get a nice comfortable gold lead, and they get some not much needed gold into the right carries, right? Rumble 202. Elated is slated to carry this game. Mike oh Young my god, Gorilla dead. Jones? Yeah, Mike Young is just dead. Gorilla Jones just walked up to him and said, I'm going to kill you. And uh, Mike Young said, okay, that's fine. Yeah. No flash, no ultimate ready. He just kind of unfortunately got to take the beating from Gorilla Jones here. With that, guarantee killed onto Zin Zhao. They're going to actually go for Dragon here. Oklahoma Christian not getting nothing for the Grub trade. This is what's supposed to happen. You trade Dragon for Grubs. Second round happens. You either try to deny the five to six grub mark, and then you make your way towards dragon. That's realistically all Oklahoma Christian needs to do. They just take two grubs away and back off. Yeah, and they get that little extra buff of damage from killing that infernal Drake, but not gonna see an infernal soul this time around. And should we just go for a little check of CS here? Cinnamon Brand has been just farming up as a lot of assists. He's feeling pretty good right now. And uh, elated also, just in a uh, pretty good spot. Although, you know, we saw Gorilla Jones get the kill back here. I thought for a second that UCI was going to run away with this game similarly to Oklahoma Christian in the first game, but we'll, we'll see. Oklahoma Christian still has some fight left in there. Yeah, now Emps might gonna, just die Oh, they're going to just pull the trigger. Yeah, they just yeah. go for it. I was not sure if no that Legos. was going to work out, but they take him down. Yeah, Emps did not have the Legos ready to drop. Uh, that is insane here. That's wild. You know what else Gorka, is insane? I believe. Yeah, that. Yeah, I was just about Gorka to say. also went down. Yeah, he just died. Rip. <laughs> I mean, that, Rip that's Jim. big for Josu, right? Huge, right? Also on this Lethality Varus. Gonna have his item breakpoints a little bit lower. Trinket. And Trinket. Fancying an invade. Why not? Right? You've yeah. got Black Prio. Wait, zone him off the wave. But Josu has ultimate available. If they want to try to pull the trigger, they're going to get the plate at least for right now. And... Deal some damage back, but Trinket, yeah, very, very sneakily getting in there. Okay, maybe not sneakily, right? They saw him. He's kind of <laughs> like stomping around in the jungle. Yeah, I mean, also Mike Young is trading the opposite side camps, right? With that mid lane kill, it gives him priority to kind of invade these wolves, invade the Gromp. Trinket canceled the recall, although I'm pretty sure Light Pulse, they don't need to check that bush. They can just throw a sapling in there and be completely fine. That's another reason why Maokai is so good. Here we go you again. have saplings to kind of face check some of these bushes. You don't really have to commit. But the dive is going to happen whether UCI wants it or not. Yeah, Paralysis is level 6 and is ready to pull the trigger. Emps in the area and they're going to cut off the Maokai once again. Cinnamon Bread's going to be a little late to this fight. Curtain Call coming out. So is Mom. Huge that ultimate. does a lot of damage. It slows him up, which means Trinket is going to go down. And now the chase down onto Emps with Mike Young. Bringing up from the side, coming from the river, but uh, the rest of Oklahoma Christian will get out. Ends up being a one for one. Never mind. Yeah. It ends up being a two for one. Never mind. It two ends up two? being a two for two. Are we good? <laughs> Oklahoma Christian, you see, are we good? Are we no done? more fighting, right? <laughs> are we done here? Are we done here? A couple, Swinging a couple back of and shots forth. after the bell, right? <laughs> yeah, haymakers. It's like it's like after recess ends and you just hit your friend one more time in the stomach before you get to class. That's exactly what happened there. You see, I and Oklahoma Wait. Christian. Did you do what? that to people in like grade school? No, 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 no. I'm not speaking from experience. Don't, that, that, don't you worry know, about should that. Be the last time, it should be the last time you mentioned something oddly specific. You um, <laughs> you stole cheesecake from your girlfriend. Is that right? Uh, that's true. Like a thief of the night, and no one will ever know. Yeah. As so, Amps know. is oh. just gonna get absolutely murdered. Yeah, he is gonna flash away. Whoa. The sapling, L sapling. Uh, it's not enough. I knew it wasn't gonna be enough, but I was hoping that it would have been enough. 
Yeah, maybe if that was like a haunting guys, but that play, regardless, even though Emps isn't dead, right, on the map, May it's well killed be. his influence, right? Exactly. He's 10% HP, doesn't have the TP. That's going to get the six grub stack for UCI here. And I love that. Now they've got to start converting that into potential side lane pressure. It's going to be rough, though, because they don't really have the best split pusher. There's no TP other than cinnamon bread. So how effective are they going to make use of this six grub stack? They've got to win a team fight and potentially push down your tier two or tier one. Not the greatest six grubs here. I don't think OC is really sweating, but they do have to either try to contest this dragon that's coming up in a minute or potentially set up for what will be a 14-minute Rift Herald play that if UCI gets, can do a lot of damage considering they have all six stacks of the grub plus the Rift Herald potentially charging into mid lane turret. They can do so much and get so much standing gold on the map. Yeah, and you know, you mentioned that their siege isn't that great, but Chibi, with their ultimate profile... They can just throw down an ultimate and be able to hit a turret with all the space that it creates. This, mm -hmm. I feel like this creates a really unique way for UCI to be able to play this game now that they have six grubs, right? You drop a rumble ultimate and say, okay, you know, we're going to back them up, which means we're going to be able to walk up and hit the turret. As long as they're able to get their waves past the midway point of a lane, I actually think they might be able to, you know, may make those grubs work for them, right? Yeah, they could definitely here, right? Drop the mom ultimate as well. Just say, hey, everybody get out of there. But they got to make sure they don't overcommit ultimate for course. some of the standing gold, right? Dragon coming up in a second. And we see all of UCI has complete vision control. Pink wards are, or, or uh-oh. Wait a minute, drink it. Big play on the Simon Bread. He's going to be able to get over the wall. Emps is going to get engaged on with by the this. Curtain call coming out. They're going to try to nail some members. Emps is now after Mom comes through and does a lot of damage, but they're sidestepping around but not dealing a whole lot of damage. And down goes Emps. And down goes on the other side, Mike Young. And oh, Emps cuddle buddy. He joins his buddy in death. Josu has to run away. Paralysis flashes over the wall, but Gorica is there to chase him down. Is that fight was a little too elongated, rooted over the wall. Can they get to Paralysis? Even if he gets under the turret, he's in a lot of trouble, Shibby. I don't know if they're going to pull the trigger. Oh, Paralysis jukes him a little bit, just slightly, not really. That right, goes the other way. They don't go for the dive here because they don't have the wave here, but the team fight is won by UCI here. Now they've got roughly a 2,500 gold lead, though they aren't able to get onto the dragon. Mike Young hasn't even passed towards it. He's going for his red buff. Because I think they just value this Rift Herald way, way more. And I agree, right? It can give you so much pushing power. can allow you to get a lot of gold here. I think UCI potentially is making the right call if they are over-indexing into this Herald. If not, it looks like they just want to clear the camps and go for this Herald. Although, or sorry, Dragon. Oklahoma Christian, though, they've got a window here to set up some vision before Light Pulse can get down the saplings, get down some of those wards. Shibi, how many times have you seen a team take the first two Dragons and lose the game? We could see a scenario with that with Oklahoma Christian, but as you mentioned, this guy doesn't want to give that up. Trinket going to be in a little bit of trouble. They're going to engage on top of Emps, and Emps is blown trouble. up. Mike Young a little low. World Ender popped by Gorilla Jones as Mike Young is going to uh -oh. fall. Cinnamon Bread and Light Pulse getting chased away, but there's no way for Oklahoma Christian to continue the chase. Is a one for one, but the jungle are down for UCI. Uh, but Oklahoma Christian's a little bit split here. Even though jungler is down, Oklahoma Christian aren't confident enough to start this dragon because They're Rumble split. has joined the party. They are split, though. This is kind of how you want to take the fight. You don't want to group up against a Rumble ultimate right now. Paralysis really wants to get in there, but big slow coming Amps. out. Ems is teleported and is there to make it a 5v4 because Mike Young has got to take the long way around. Dragon going to reset, and there goes the equalizer on top of Paralysis. Big engagement on the backside. He's going to be able to pick up two, but the Josu gets sniped on the side. Elated is dead, but able to trade back. And now, Ems could be in trouble as Mike Young is trying to come through from behind, able to trade oh. onto Cinnamon Bread, but Trinket is going to be able to knife Mike Young away. However, will go down anyway. Four for two, but the dragon goes to Oklahoma Christian. Yep, to get the double dragon stacking here, unfortunately, there's a Cloud Soul, not a Mountain Soul, not a Hextag. Literally anything else probably would have been a little bit better for Oklahoma Christian here. So they over-index, they, they get the dragon, but their reward? Oh, well, Cloud Soul is what they potentially will get here, and they lost a lot of lives. Harold should be going over to UCI as Mike Young is around there. There's nobody really to kind of stop him, but instead... He's going to go back, he's going to take his camps, wait for his team, and they might just use that as a way to start another team fight. They won that, 
with Cinnamon Bread not having access to Mom, right? Mm -hmm. He used it super early on, and they still almost won that fight. You have to believe if UCI have the double red carpet ready to go, that I don't think Oklahoma Christian can fight for this Herald. Yeah, it is just really, really bad for Oklahoma Christian. We talked about it. How much of a difference was the Weaver's Wall going to be compared to Mom and the Equalizer? And uh, it's no contest, Chibi. There's been all UCI in these fights, hovering around almost a 4,000 gold lead as there's an engage made onto Paralysis, but they'll be able to walk out. But getting chunked out is pretty bad news. UCI, they're looking to really want to get onto this Rift Herald right now. Yeah, I mean, Cinnamon Bread does have TP, so he is relegated to try matching Gorilla Jones right now. There's no flank wards for this Aatrox as well. He can't get behind UC Irvine, which is really crucial because if he starts walking at them, you've got to go through Gin Traps, you've got to go through uh, Rumble Taser. By the way, you've got to deal with the Zinzao. He needs to get a really crucial flank in one of these team fights for him to pop off. And he's got to jump onto players like Cinnamon Bread or Gorica to really make UCI pay. But they just haven't been able to set that up. Oklahoma Christian being one step behind UCI for pretty much all of these objectives. Yeah, and it is resulting in them slipping further and further away. Is this Rift Herald, they could get some pretty good value out of it, Shibby. On the bottom side, Gorilla Jones realized that he cannot take a fight with Cinnamon Bread. Cinnamon Bread does a lot of damage right now. Oh, he's going Essence Reaver as well. He's not going mm -hmm. the Spear of Shojin build, so he's going to have a little bit more oomph on his Qs, specifically, right, because it does... Uh, use on hit effect so that sheen proc that essence reaver gives you will get directly applied cinnamon bread having a much better time than gorica 200 stacks at the 18 minute mark he should hit 225 by this third dragon and if it gets to that point kind of unsure how oc wins this uh, question for you shibby is he stacking faster or slower than gorica I believe he's stacking faster. He's faster. Stacking yeah. faster. Yeah, much that's faster. That's what I'm much thinking. Early Jones has to pop the world ender, has to flash away, and gets hit by mom anyway. That is a, a rough combination. Yeah, I'm surprised he flashed away. I don't know why I just... Oh. Uh, Paralysis could not tank the Maokai ultimate. Just the Maokai ultimate, they don't just stand in a straight line. As they are trying to protect this tier 1 turret a little bit too much here. Uh, Ajosu hasn't been really able to get out teleport. all this poke damage there's a teleport they're trying to fight yeah trinket has found light pulse and light pulse has been rooted up but do they have the damage to burst them out not quite cinnamon bread is all in no, his lonesome but is able to fly around if needed paralysis has joined the party as gorilla jones is getting targeted getting knocked up but they're going to turn their sights on to mike young and they're able to take him out that execute is active for cinnamon bread you saw it on gorilla jones for a half a second and while the fight was won by oklahoma christian they lost a turret anyway yeah, they're just trying to get some gold back here. They do end up killing Mike Young. That's fine. Mike Young will gladly give his life for tier one turret and some extra stacks onto the Smolder here. And I've always liked Smolder in the solo lane, specifically in mid. It's a little bit uh, more safer for him. He's allowed to farm more, right? He's not pressured as much with these like 2v4 dives. And so you can see why Cinnamon Bread is at a higher pace technically than Gorica. Don't get me wrong. But I think mid lane Smolder is actually the move. I think both can be the move, right? It kind of depends on your team composition. And you know, I, I very much like it in the mid lane here. Obviously, it worked very, very well. Uh, but honestly, this is a champion that can do both, right? And I think that's honestly yeah, great. Yeah. Champion that you can flex mid and bot. Honestly, that's my kind of champion. <laughs> it's going to get hit with the nerf bat very, very soon. No, please, Riot no. Likes those. Riot does not like those champions. They're going to have to increase... The stack count, I'm sure, because oh, yeah. we haven't seen any of the Korean or oh, LPL players go at it. Paralysis? So see paralysis. There's some scrapping going on Here right comes now. Mom, paralysis is barely still alive. Never mind. Oh my god. He dropped the equalizer on top of his head. Thought he was paralyzed, but he was actually burnt. And they take him down, and now that means the Baron is going to be started up by UCI. A lot of ultimates, though, used from UCI, though. That's kind of crazy. I don't know if OC want to take this fight, though. They maybe, maybe they don't recognize that they're on Baron. I would do it. Pull the trigger, right? Use the Talia wall. Cut them off. To they do are it. down ultimates right now. You have to do it. Still missing a couple. And now they're going to get on to Trinket. Trinket is going to get executed in just a minute here. Ojosu taking a lot of damage. And just before he goes down, he's able to knock him away. But the Weaver's Wall is going to allow time for UCI to regroup. I'm trying to get in from the side, maybe trying to just cut them off a little bit. Ajosu can't get into this fight. Emps is just falling back and falling back as UCI continues to try to push forward. They're going to root him up. They're going to try to take him out. Mike Young getting very low. 
And Layden is in the danger zone as Gorilla Jones is trying to get onto the back line, trying to heal as much as he can. He's getting pretty low. They manage to take out one. They take oh, out two. Paralysis. And now it's Josu who gets blown up by Cinnamon Bread. And Cinnamon Bread closes it out with a triple kill. And UCI heads to the Dragon. It was such a good engage from Paralysis, but the eyes were somewhere else. That huge magnet storm onto both Gorica and Cinnamon Bread goes unfollowed up on a Josu just could not get enough damage down, and yeah, Cinnamon Bread just carried that fight. Seven, one, and nine on the smolder. The execute putting in work. The double flash from both Gorica and Cinnamon Bread to guarantee the kill on Tavares instantly. Yeah, this is rough. Oklahoma Christian just do not have the team composition to go up against UC Irvine. I said it's going to take a flank from Gorilla Jones. You saw what happened when he was just face tanking all of UC Irvine. He just did not have the health bar, did not have the health steal, the health or the life steal or the, the health fam to go against UC Irvine. There's just too much damage. Yeah, it is a four threat composition out of UC Irvine. And it has caused fits for Oklahoma Christian this game. I mean, listen, it was always going to be tough because you're not dealing with your average cinnamon bread. This is your artisan cinnamon bread that you get down at the shop. Oh my and it God. pops a Josu. It's going to pop paralysis next. It's a double kill for cinnamon bread. I mean, this guy is just on another level. 9 1 and 9 is cleaning up. That Baron should be theirs for UCI going completely uncontested. I don't think this Poppy can really function in these team fights as well. Yeah, you stop the Zin engage, but that's not how they're killing you. They're killing you from a screen and a half away oh, as Nightbolt takes the Rift Herald for a drive. Yeah, there's Twitch chat getting that turret lower and lower. Guess who's getting lower and lower? Gorilla Jones and Cinnamon Bread is going to burn him away with one more Q if he gets close. Gorilla Jones trying to fly away, but he will fall all the same. Yet another one in the belt of Cinnamon Bread. Paralysis wants to look for an engagement here. It's the only angle that Oklahoma Christian has, but they can't get onto Mike Young. We do have a couple of members, but oh that equalizer God. is going to burn them alive. Ojosu forced a flash away, and Oklahoma Christian swing and miss. Yeah, and this Poppy just hasn't been able to give Oklahoma Christian the numbers advantage that they want, right? I haven't seen anybody get f sent flying by the Poppy ultimate. And that's the issue. If you, you want to fight UC Irvine, you've got to blow somebody like Elated, somebody like Mike Young away from the fight so you can get a 3v5. You can get a 4v5 here. But the Poppy value has been very little. It's just been, It's literally just been a Mike Young denier, but that's fine. Like I said, Elated and Cinnamon Bread are the ones whittling you away from two screens away. Hey, Josu is just not allowed to play the game. Emp's not allowed to play the game here. As Gorilla Jones does face check into UCI here. They are 10,000 gold ahead. I don't know in any scenario Oklahoma Christian wins a 5v5. I don't think so either, but they have to try to take an odd man fight. Somehow, some way, Paralysis is walking up the light post. Look at, look at Here Trinket. comes Mom Trinket from the side. Life. It does so much damage. He may be bread, but he's the one toasting his opponents. 11 kills for Cinnamon Bread. Yeah, and it's really odd that Oklahoma Christian decided to like try to take a fight there. Trinket is on wolves right now. The poppy's nowhere near. You don't even have the engage denial. And they're trying to try to get onto this mid lane here with Light Pulse and Cinnamon Bread. You see how safe this Smolder is, and now bot lane getting Siege. Oklahoma Christian can only watch as their base gets torn piece by piece. Yeah, that bottom inhibitor is looking mighty juicy, but UCI is going to rotate to the mid lane here. They've got a wave to bring in. Gorilla Jones still down for a couple more seconds. There's a teleport available, but nowhere to teleport to. The Poppy Hammer knocks Cinnamon Bread all the way back, but... Oklahoma Christian, with the numbers advantage, they just can't do anything. Yeah, it's almost too little too late here. 13,000 gold. Gorilla Jones trying to do something. Yeah, from the backside, it's Emps, but Light Pulse follows him, but it doesn't matter. They're going to be able to take him out anyway. Look at the backside of the fight. It's Cinnamon Bread, and it's Mike Young. It's a two-man show as he's looking to take down a couple of members. Paralysis burns away. Gorilla Jones burns away. And the hopes of Oklahoma Christian winning game two have burned away yeah now their base is going to be burned down to a crisp right now smolder 14 1 and 9 here cinnamon bread just on a massacre 355 stacks of the passive as well 
If I'm Oko and Christian, I just ban this away. Because it looks yeah. like UCI are more than comfortable flexing it into both the AD carry and mid lane. And I'm going to say this right now. It looked a thousand percent better in the mid lane. Cause a lot of problems as we have made it on to Summoner's Rift for our final game of the evening. Oklahoma Christian back on the blue side, UCI back on the red side. And, um, you know, UCI did not die at level one in game two, and they won. They died mm -hmm. at level one in game one, and they lost. So, should, what do you think the strategy for them should be level one against the Blitzcrank? Uh, don't over aggress on keeping a lot of this vision, right? Just let Oklahoma Christian get in, right? You can't really stop it. But with this Blitzcrank, you got to try to get vision down, right? There are pings and stuff going down, but they haven't actually put anything onto the jungle camps, oddly enough. Mike Young has actually figured out potentially where this Wukong's going to start. He got a nice little trinket onto the blue buff side. So despite having the Blitzcrank and despite having that invade pressure, Oklahoma Christian have no clue where uh, Xin Zhao is going to be starting here. So plus four UC Irvine so far. Yeah, they got the mystery around them, right? The jump scare gaming, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> so see how that pays off for them. And one thing that, uh, you know, we obviously we talked about the bot lanes a little bit. So I wanted to touch on one more thing. You know, if Blitzcrank pulls in the Ash, even though Smolder doesn't do a whole lot of damage, Ash doesn't have a whole lot of base health, right? I, you actually might be able to blow up the Ash pretty quickly. It's just a oh, matter Oh, Barrier of, got blown. Oh my god, yeah, Barrier is already down in the bot lane. Things are going on, I think. I think they may have actually gone in onto the Ash I and think we know. chunked them out. Paralysis is a little low, but... Really want to look at this top lane as Elated is going to start the Yuga Booga gameplay and just Q and... Auto attack Rilla you. Jones a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's what Nocturne Lane does. And we'll see how many more you can get off. Gorilla Jones, once again, uh, you know, just trying to do some stuff here. I think being on the Rumble side specifically instead of the Aatrox side of this matchup is really nice. You can kind of feel the power that Rumble can do. But how many people go against Lane Nocturne, right? Like, you don't really know what it can do. And then the thing is, the spell shield is really crucial to blocking one of the tasers, which is a, a big damage chunk for the rumble, right? So Gorilla Jones has to be weary, can't just fight uh, Nocturne 1v1 essentially all the time, although we do see Elated Ooh. really low in paralysis. I'm pretty sure he's hit very crucial hooks onto Gorica and LP so far. You look at the damage that's oh, being returned. Elated? Gorilla Jones, flash taser, Ooh. and the flash in kind. Means that Elated lives to fight another day. Gorilla Jones summonerless now. Uh, but yeah, you're right down here. It's pretty crazy. Shibby, listen, I told you. I told you there was potential. Yeah, there's a bit as now Trinket just kind of has to wait and watch as his red buff gets taken away. LP also roaming up here. We do Work see Oklahoma gone, Christian. Yeah, we, do, we see Oklahoma Christian coming up. There might be a chance for them to maybe get this fight. Ooh. No, not at all. Really good pathing from Mike Young. NLP to get the red buff and use their mid lane priority specifically to get out of dodge. Yeah, and Trinket burns so much time just sitting there lying in wait. Yep. And, you know, without, you know, you just kind of lose tempo on that, right? A play that should go a little bit better for Trinket, uh, time's a little bit equalized, right? Yeah, and I do want to note here that Elated ended up going triple tonic uh -oh. on the nocturne so he's trying to look for like some sort of advantage with these potions he's trying to win a little early right he can get a little bit faster to that ultimate maybe get one more ultimate point uh off earlier into these games so he can get a couple more in this laning phase uh so that's really cool but so far you see irvine kind of having control of these solo lanes just a little bit allowing mike young to go Ems to work is in trouble Ems is dead Oh, never mind. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. He is dead. They follow he's him dead, up. Good dead. flash. Followed up by Mike Young. Burning the flash of Emps as well. Exactly what you're looking for. Meanwhile, Gorica, an auto away from death. Light Pulse trading back, but starting to run out of health. Does have that empowered Q. It's a lot of damage. Josu's almost dead. Oh, Josu oh! flashed into the Q! And Paralysis is dead, too. I talked about hooking either Ash or Ezreal in. There's just... Not a lot of damage coming out from a Josu. What did I say? Yanni, diametrically opposed these two champions. They want nothing to do with each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's not working out well. It was working out well at first, and it is not working out nearly as well as I thought after it was looking pretty good early. And now it's Sheen on the Ezreal. 
You know, Cinnamon Bread has that uh, Hextech Alternator as well. I mean, these are your your laners getting their power spikes and looking to potentially bully Oklahoma Christian hard. Yeah, Light Pulse also has Serrated Dirk, so those Ws are going to hit that much harder. And Gorilla Jones, you know, keeping even with Elated, which is all you could ask for, because realistically, you're not necessarily picking this Nocturne to win the lane. You're picking it because you want Nico Nocturne. Realistically, you just play the ultimate game and the rest will be set in stone as Mike Young once again invading onto Trinket here and Wukong can't really do anything. Light Pulse is just helping his jungler out. Yeah, Light Pulse is just able to move around because you can leave Gorica on his own. That's the beauty of being able to pick Ezreal AD carry, right? Mm -hmm. You can just be like, hey, support can roam. Uh, you'll be fine down there, right? And the answer is always yes especially into Blitzcrank Smolder, right? It's not like a Lucian Milio. It's not like a Varus Ash, something that could potentially dive you. There's virtually no threat for this Ezreal if he's left alone. What are you going to do? Dive in Ezreal? Like, he's got Arcane Shift. He's got Heal. Like, he's got so many tools to get out of the way. And even if you do try to dive him, it's going to take a long time for you guys to kill here. Just feels like Trinket hasn't really done too much on this Wukong just yet. And I get you're picking it for these team fights. You've got Rumble Wukong combo, right? You've got a little bit of Wombo yourselves on the side of Oklahoma Christian. But how are you going to execute it if Nico Nocturne is engaging onto your backline? It's going to be really rough. Oklahoma Christian down 2,000 gold already at the six and a half minute mark. Yeah, it is pretty rough. This is the worst start they've gotten off to in any of these games, right? And if they let UCI get a little bit further ahead early, they may just run away with it. Grub is going to go the way of UCI, potentially. We do see Trinket is up here, has recognized has this, has spotted this out. You do mention that priority. You are absolutely right. See if Mike Young's able to get this for free. Oh, Rumble was actually in base, so it means that there was nobody to actually help him out, so this will be free Grubs. Yeah, that's really odd. Mike Young being able to take these Grubs. I know he had mid lane Prio, but Gorilla Jones, level 7, right? They should be trying to fight for these grubs. If you're trying to stick around and saying, hey, I've got ultimate. I can win these fights. But Mike Young has just been allowed to run rampant in this jungle. I mean, he's got the support of his best friend in the top lane, his best friend in the mid lane, LP as well. I mean, there's everybody is making sure Mike Young can just completely shut out Trinket here. They're trying so hard to make sure this Wukong does nothing. Oh, they're going to drop everything on top of Mike Young, and they will take him down. I apologize. That was the biggest caster curse I've done this <laughs> year. Right? Like, that was so the bad. The year is like, still oh. young, Jimmy. Yeah, true, true. But so far, uh, unfortunately, Mike Young does get caught out. It put his hand in the cookie jar, unfortunately, and everybody came to swat it back away. And so... Trinket is able to pick up some Raptors here. He might be able to go in, take this red buff. Dragon not being traded here, unfortunately, because both junglers were on the top side. Cinnamon Brett and Ems just trading back and forth. Not the most interactive lane. Azir and Nico. Uh, we're going to really wait for Ems to try to make a play, potentially, with these Emperor's Divides. They can potentially try to contest this. Dragon is... Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, he be Trinket's fine. all good. He's yeah. able to slide out, but it'll be another camp that goes down. Uh, and it's just got to be frustrating, right? You just see Mike Young pillage your jungle, poison your water supply, burn your crops, deliver <laughs> a plague onto his house. But he's still not that far behind. Yeah, I mean, he's just been kind of bullying out Wukong. And although Wukong not feeling happy about it should still be good in some of these team fights right yeah he does need a lot of gold you see he's sitting on double dagger double longsword that's not the buy you want really when you're wukong right you want to be getting towards that Oof. call field hammer if you're going right you want to be potentially building towards that sheen if you can right now he's just not sitting on anything no tunneler items nothing like that he's just sitting on a lot of cheap stats when in reality he wants to start building towards these components as we may potentially see a fight for this dragon although doesn't seem like UCI is in position. Bot lane just backed. They saw Xin Zhao go back into his jungle here. So they should be able to pick it up for relatively free as we see the vision toggle. Very, very dark for UC Irvine. Yeah, really uh, nice stuff there by the side of Oklahoma Christian. Realized they had a window, decided to take it. Getting a little bit of resistances on top of it is uh, always nice, right? Always nice when you take a little bit less damage, Shibby. Especially when this UCI team has plenty of damage to spare. 
Yeah, and I begged the question early on, right before the game started, when we saw the composition. Oh, the Nocturne Ultimate, Ultimate in the lane. Nope, Ems is oh. dead. Ems had nowhere dead. to go. Yeah, he must have just, like I said, Five Nights at Freddy's jump scared him. Right? Like, that's pretty much what happened. Most likely, Cinnamon Bread disguised himself as a minion, Nocturne Ultimate went down, and Ems put the Emperor's Divide down, but I just don't think it caught anybody. I was going to say earlier on, I beg the uh -oh. question, how much gold are you willing to bleed? Ooh, is now Gorilla top lane Jones potentially going to die? Top. Yeah, and we're going to see Ems teleport to the mid lane, and Gorilla Jones is going to go down in the top side. Going to look to give that one over to Elated, and they will. So Ems has teleported in and has taken a million damage since that teleport. Yeah, I, he just kind of ate a whole chunk here as Gorilla Jones did go down in the top lane here. We saw the gank coming in, at least on the mini-map there. But I, like I said, I beg the question, how much are you willing to go down in gold in the early to mid game if you are Oklahoma Christian? Is 3,000 the breaking point? 4,000, right? If he gets any more than this, I feel like UCI will just be in position to take every single objective. Although Oklahoma Christian did get the first dragon, so at least the soul will be delayed by quite a bit. But I don't know if that's going to be enough because uh, Baron's going to come up, Rift Herald's going to come up. How, are you comfortable in losing all of that just so your Azir and Smolder can scale? I think you might be, though. I'm going to be honest with you, should be. Uh, because those champions scale so damn well that as long as you're able to get there, you'll be just fine. We're going to see another fight potentially break out here as the engagement goes down. Big double knock up there. And here oh. comes Cinnamon Bread. Is able to knock up the one. And they take out Gorilla Jones. Trinket. Just a watch and wait. Engages on the cinnamon bread. Emps is on Trinket? the way to try to turn this around, but Trinket is super low. What the heck am I looking? There we go. All right, it's finally gone. I was like, what is that thing doing? <laughs> it's, just, it's just being a distraction, right? It's an eyesore. It got me. Uh, ta tactical advantage for cinnamon bread here. As UCI get the full six grub mark here. That means they get two of the void mites here spawning on the auto attacks, and that's going to bang into the turret and just really take them down super quickly as... That's the interaction that we talked about. Why are we picking Blitzcrank into Ezreal if he can just negate your whole flow with one button? It's pretty rough. I mean, I imagine that they thought that Paralysis by this time would be able to just roam around a little bit, but we haven't seen any roams available. There just hasn't been a whole lot for Oklahoma Christian to do. Well, Light, Wait, Pulse Light Pulse in a lot of trouble here. I am very confused. There's the mom ultimate um... coming through. And uh, Ajosu will be able to pick that one up. So he canceled the back? Because I guess he thought... Oh, whoa! Oh, oh, elated coming in very deep for this one. Gets the fear off and takes down the smolder. Paralysis is dead too. A double kill for elated. Elated from top to bottom, dude. Just roaming all the way down as we did see Gorika go into the top side here. They're going to be able to take this turret for free that should be the first turret gold going over to uci what a massive nocturne play looks like a good death from light pulse right hey guys stay here don't worry my team is definitely not showing up uh yeah and uh they did they fooled them honestly it was a great bait mate and i rate a of eight you know it's and now it's a four kill elated and you saw how much damage he did with the immediate burst there's just so much more he can do and also moving their bot lane up to top side is going to make sure that they have a numbers advantage potentially coming up for this Herald in about 15 seconds here. It was all a really good macro play from UCI, right? They send their bot lane top. They get Nocturne's ins out onto the bot side here. They take the first turret gold. They reset. And now they're super strong for oh, this got him. Oh. And he's dead. He was a minion. And he got him. Cinnamon bread. It's just styling on him right now. Yeah, absolutely. He's got the tech down completely. Look at that. Beautiful as now we see top lane. Yeah, ultimate drop down by Gorilla Jones, but Ezreal going to respond in kind to burst him out. Light Pulse is going to die, but so many members of UCI have shown up. They will clean him up on the top side. They will take the top outer turret as well. Should be their pockets spilleth over. 7,000 gold in the lead. Wallets so heavy, their pockets are dragging them down. Literally, they cannot walk. It is so heavy right now. 7,000 gold for UC Irvine. They're going to take the top lane tier one. They're going to take the Herald. They are going to ignore potentially this dragon coming up, which will be a consolation prize for Oklahoma Christian here, but they're fine with that. 
They got all this gold. They're going to reset, get the item advantages, and they're just going to be chilling out right now. As I say that, though, Light Pulse might have something to say about this. We do see Nocturne and Zintao coming in from mid lane. They got to take this one super fast and get out of dodge. Hey, Josu has no summoners. Oh, here's a big engagement, a double knockup. You get the dragon, but you lose your life for it. It's a double kill for Cinnamon Bread and just more punches to the mouth here from UCI. Gorilla Jones trying to get something back here. I don't know if you win that, brother. Yeah, I, I, well, you know, maybe he does win that as Mike Young does burn away, but uh -oh. good ultimate from Light Pulse. That Enchanted Crystal Arrow stops him in his tracks. Yeah, a one for one trade, just the best thing you can get here. But Oklahoma Christian down in the laning phase. Once it's over, nearly 8,000 gold here. I said it was okay if they go down two, if they go down three, eight, just a little bit too much. Maybe this is the year and Smolder can scale into the late game, but I don't think UCI are gonna allow that. Yeah, UCI has been pretty good at pulling the trigger when they need to. And with Elated and Mike Young as well and Cinnamon Bread following things up on that Nico, they're not gonna have a problem at all, it feels like. Yeah, they've been much more decisive, right? Even in game two, they were much more quicker to take the Baron, take these team fights. Their snap trigger is just there, right? And that's something that when you have a team that's been playing together for so long, a year, year and a half plus, you know how you want to win games. You know yeah. what to do when you're in the lead. You know who's going to be the one calling out the shots, calling out when to team fight, who to kill, all that stuff. That's been one of UCI's biggest strengths and kind of what we saw when they competed in these OQs recently, right? We saw this killer instinct UC Irvine that we thought we had figured out. We saw them compete so many times, but they managed to raise the level of their players. The skill ceiling that we thought they had, they bumped it up a couple stories. As Smolder is on 114 stacks right now, that is well behind the curve at 18 minutes. Yeah, it's not a whole lot, and uh, Trinket's dead, and uh, Emps, good flash follow from Cinnamon Bread. Emps is dead too. Should be, I feel like that could be the nail in the coffin as Rilla Jones finds himself in a little bit of trouble as well, but Elated is going to be able to turn out the lights, get him with that paranoia, and should be able to take him down. Mom flying through here. Gorka was able to get away. Ajosu looking to clean him up, but can't do so. It's Bedlam all over the map, and it is all UCI. Yeah, they're putting fires out everywhere. Sweet Mike Young taking the, taking the whip for a spin right now, right into the mid lane. Oh, he is ghost riding the whip for sure. Another nice route. <laughs> and Paralysis is dead. And Shelly gets another one going in. The True Shot Shake Barrage did not land. But things are just... It's its all UCI, man. It's not even 18 minutes in. They are crushing this game. 10,000 gold, right? And I feel like we've seen this tendency happen a lot, right? The game goes to a game three. It's 1-1. One, one. We're expecting a super close match. Both teams traded win for win, and one of the teams just comes out flat. It's an all too common occurrence, and I wish I could explain it, but I just. The phenomenon is unresearched. There's not enough data, man. No. No, there is not enough data for this. Elated? Find himself in trouble. They will be able to take him out. It's just a matter of who's going to get the shutdown. It goes over to Gorilla Jones. Probably would have liked that on Emps, but listen, you'll take it. You got to do something, right? You got to get something back. I mean, I want to pick the brain, right? I want to talk about it a little bit as that Enchanted Crystal Arrow comes in. Paralysis ahead, is dead, go man. Ahead. Yeah, you can cook. yeah, yeah. I, why do you think these teams just like come out flat? Like one team just doesn't know what to do, and it's just an absolute stomp. Is it that the other team is prepared? Maybe the the team that was winning thought they had it in the bag. Like I don't understand. Is Emps is just gonna get punished for taking this turret? I, I, I'm confused because I thought this was gonna be a very close game three. Yeah, I did too, Shibby, but it just looked like the early game of UCI was far stronger than Oklahoma Christian's early game. We talked about the top jungle duo, right? And as it turns out, Mike Young was just a little bit better than Trinket as Elated is in a lot of trouble. Will go down, but teleport coming in from Cinnamon Bread. Mike Young to follow it up on a Gorilla Jones, knocks him up. The burn onto Cinnamon Bread, but it looks like Gorilla Jones will go down anyway. On the other side, Josu flashes forward onto Gorka. Gorka. One auto attack will take him out. Will they continue okay. the fight though? Cinnamon Bread is pretty low. Paralysis gets hit. Mike Young dashes toward him. Drops the ultimate, but won't be able to do anything more. As we see an arrow fly through to make a cameo appearance. Trying to Crystal Herald. 
arrow almost hitting paralysis there a little bit of gold going back into the pockets of oklahoma christian here but right now the win condition is azir the man's 0 and 5 sitting on nashors and some items hey josu now nowhere near that 225 stack mark he's got to be farming jungle camps he's got to be taking his waves at this point i don't know if you want to give gorilla jones a lane to himself your win condition should swap over to azir smolder now yeah, it really has to, right? You have to give everything you can. I mean, they even tried, right? Gorilla Jones is 135 CS, kind of getting the cinnamon bread treatment that we saw in game one. Uh, but Josu is not stacking fast enough, should be. He's got 152 stacks to 20 minutes. He is a long way away from being able to get that execute. And the game might be over before he can get there. Yeah, and even then, right? UCI might just be too far ahead for it to even matter. He's hitting, he's taking so long to hit this execute spike that even with Essence Weaver, even with Navoria's Nocturne Elated flying in right now, yeah. I have never seen a Rumble more bullied than I have seen before here. Elated just going to town on Gorilla Jones. Yeah, the good news is Gorilla Jones can use the tasers to slow him up, but Gorilla Jones is not that fast, and Elated is much faster. He's got enough CDR so that. The Ooga toothpaste booga. stays out of the tube and on the ground. <laughs> and he is able to take him out as the Baron has been started up by the side of Oklahoma. Christian Mom going to fly through. And here comes the fight. Paralysis getting taken Orica. a little low backside. It's Trinket with the kill, but Cinema Red 3 man ultimate. Cinema Red pretty low. A good job by Ems to try to get out the extra damage. We can't quite kill him. It's a double kill for Trinket. But now it's Cinnamon Red and Mike Young versus Paralysis and Trinket. Whoa. And Paralysis is dead. It's only Trinket left. As he has to back all the way off as Nocturne is running through the base. Look at him mid lane. He's just pushing down that open inhibitor that was taken down very early on, 18 minutes into the game here. And Trinket, yeah, you got to walk all the way back. They stopped the Baron, sure. But they are 11, 12,000 gold behind right now. And fortunately, Cinnamon Bread has just been on point with this Nico, right? That we talked about earlier on that he played in OQs that we've seen him pilot before. He doesn't even need the Nocturne ultimate. He's just able to get raw three mans just by himself. Like, Elated's ulting bot lane, and Cinnamon Bread and Mike Young are just winning the 4v4 outright. Gorica wasn't in that team fight. He eed over the Baron wall, so he wasn't allowed to participate. And UCI still won. That's just a pocket and wallet diff here. They're going to use this advantage. Just go for the Baron once again. Bait out another team fight. The vision is completely in UCI's favor. Oko and Christian have no chance of actually getting into this. It is complete darkness. Yeah, they still have time to scale, though. UCI is giving them that time. Getting to the 23-minute mark. I thought it would be doomed by now, Shibby, but Oklahoma Christian doing well to try to keep themselves alive. Mike Young might have something to say about that. That was paralysis is forced to back off. And uh -oh. Cinnamon Bread is a minion, mm. but he is not performing like one. 9-0 and 9. Blitzcrank is dead too. Shibby, this could be the game. Seven minions, more gold for me, as Josu thought. Is, <laughs> yeah, they're going to go down right now. Hey, I've been tricked by it too. I'm oh, not yeah, going to say I don't fall for that kind of stuff. I'm a greedy guy, but Emps trying to get as much damage as he can out. He's still I don't alive. know. Gorilla Jones had a good ultimate to uh, ruin that wave. So UCI, it's time for them to back off here. Unable to finish. Yeah, go for the Baron, right? You've already killed a Josu. Paralysis is down. You know they don't have any wards to get in. Just remove the Scryers or the upgraded Scryers and just go for the Baron. Why are we going for Wolves, Mike Young? Why? Mike Young has been in a farming mood in today's games, right? <laughs> it just feels like he's like... Oh, just deny everything. Yeah, he's like, oh, I only have 137 CS. I need a little bit more. I just wanted to get close to Gorka, but that may have been a mistake. Chain of Crusade oh, lands with the Blitzcrank. They do have the Azir turret to try to help out. Ult on the backside. This is a jungle fight between Trinket and Mike Young, but Cinnamon Bread is able to force everybody away. This just overbearing Nico that does so much. So much spiritual pressure coming out from Nico spiritual here. Spiritual pressure. <laughs> Oklahoma Christian just can't deal with it, man. It's too much for them to handle. Uh -oh. Is now Nocturne flying in? Oh, look at Cinnamon Bread from behind. A three-man ultimate doing so much damage. The Ezreal to finish off a Josu. And Emps has enough blood in his big toe to keep himself upright. But he goes down all the same. A double kill for Gorica. Two members left standing for the side of Oklahoma Christian with five over on UCI. 
and Shibby UCI is going to take this set two games to one. 25 minute victory for them. UC Irvine coming in groggy, a little slow, just absolutely not having it game one. As never mind, there's no wave and yeah, Baron's not taken. Finish. So they actually unironically cannot finish. I lied, not a 25 minute game. Oklahoma Christian live to see another day. Is a Josu finally at 225 stacks? I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Observer, if we could get a check on that. Oh my God. 192, still a far cry away. But hey, that does mean that Oklahoma Christian still has more room and more time to scale. They still are getting stronger. They can only go up from rock bottom. Uh, 197 stacks here. He's desperately trying to hit that 225 mark. I mean, you have two dragons. Oklahoma Christian at least deny the soul, right? Although it is Chemtech on the map. Not the most damning, but it just feels like Smolder. Smolder just not actually turning out to be this late game carry threat. I mean, we're 26 minutes in. I know it's not late, late game, but at this rate, you should already have 225 plus stacks here. I just feel like Oklahoma Christian not doing a good job identifying what their win condition is going to be. Yeah, uh, it's... I, I don't know, man. It is rough out here, to be quite honest with you. I don't know what Oklahoma Christian can do, even if they did recognize their win condition. It feels like they they know what it is, right? It's Ems farming up. It's a Josu farming up. Like, they, there's just not too much they can do. Meanwhile, a Nocturne Ultimate on the bot side of the map. Things are going crazy down here. But Elated will fall because Oklahoma Christian is able to group up with the rest of their team. That does mean that Baron goes over to UCI. Yeah, Nocturne for Baron is a trade. UCI will take any given day here. I think UCI a little skittish around the Baron just because there is a Rumble, there is an Azir, there is a Wukong, right? Can do a lot of damage if you are clumped up there. And I think it's the Baron that also has that beautiful long lane for the Rumble to drop on. Oh, yeah. So even worse, the map changes could affect Double it. cannon wave. Big, huge, just does get taken out. Oh, there is 10 seconds on Nocturne. Trinket's just going to go for it. Mom does not land. Trinket's going to go back in for it. He does get rooted up. He's going to take a lot of damage. He could go down. Mike Young patiently waiting for his team to regroup. A Chain of Crystal Arrow does not land. We do have an Azir turret, but Baron up minions mean that this turret is no match. Yeah, and it's odd because Oklahoma Christian, they've effectively got a similar composition with the Rumble Smolder composition, right? But it's not Hot Pot and Cajun. It's just like ketchup and mustard. It's not as effective, right? It's just it's ketchup and mayo. It's it's mayo Ooh. stuff. It's gonna land that knock up onto Cinnamon Bread. Cinnamon Bread's been silenced, but he's gone golden. He does so much damage on the way out. They're able to take him down. Ems on the backside, trying to do what he can. Execute. Pushes them away, and Trinket is going to fall. Nobody can help him. Josu sees some low health bars, but he can't get them low enough. That's super hard for him to aggress here. Ems doesn't have the Emperor's Divide. Our Baron minions just barreling down both Gorilla mid lane, Jones. top lane. Gorilla Jones might be able to do something here. For Alice is going to land a nice in. pull on the light pulse. They managed to take him out. It ends up being a one for one for right now. Lady wants to go back Watch in. Josu. Gorilla Jones getting low. Gorilla Jones is dead. A Josu has nowhere to go. No turrets left. The execute lands, but the Ezreal damage is so strong. Ems and a Josu have Look to retreat to the mountain. The Nexus is under siege. Mike Young gets a shield. Gorica's low, and they do finish it off. It wasn't pretty, but UCI wins it just before the 29th minute. A slugfest, kinda, at the end here. UCI not cleaning it out completely well, but they end up getting the win. 2-1, they're happy about that. A win's a win in WDW.